today we are here to talk about a video that is not the most fun but is very important we want to talk about health insurance as you may can see the uh, pet health insurance just to clarify that for a second you probably <laughs> could tell from the thumbnail or the title but it's for pets <laughs> It's for yes. dogs. <laughs> As you may could notice, Venus have her beautiful legs shave. Yeah, she has her little boots on now, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> she got sick for the last two weeks. She was very sick in the hospital. She got pneumonia. We don't know how she got it, if it was viral, if it was... Yeah, they have no idea. Like, <laughs> it's one of those things that's really hard to apparently find out. Um, there was further testing that they could do, but it's only in extreme cases apparently is what they explained to us where like if the dog is not responding to like any medication then we have to figure out what is this exactly so that we could give them the proper medication but yeah if your dog starts i guess responding to the right medication then they don't care <laughs> like <laughs> it's working whatever we're giving them works that's what they care about so so Venus was for two weeks on the hospital on an oxygen chamber and getting nebulization therapy with saline water and albuterol and like four other uh, antibiotics and that's very very costly thank goodness last year her vet has suggested to us to get it health insurance for pets and we got Trupanion. He did a little bit of research on different companies and that was the one that you liked the most. Well, so to I guess backtrack a little bit, um, we're, we, we have a really good relationship with our primary vet for them. Uh, we're, we're friends with them like socially outside of like the, the vet. So we felt confident to like comfortable to talk with them. And he suggested us Trupanion uh, for a variety of reasons. One of the main ones was they're one of the only, at least at the time when I did the research last year, I don't know if anything has changed, but they were one of the only ones that will pay the vets directly. So the way that a lot of pet insurances work is you pay your premium every month like normal, um, everybody's like that, but then if your dog gets sick and you take them to the vet, you have to pay uh, the whole cost yourself to the vet and then you have to file a claim and then they'll reimburse you whatever percentage uh, they were gonna give you. They'll Good reimburse boy. you the money like in one to two months. Um, that's okay, I guess, to an extent. If it's something small. Yeah, if it's something small, like, I don't know. $500, $500 to $1,000. $1,000 maybe, but Anything bigger than that, that's a lot of money, you know? Not everybody has like a, a bunch of money just in their credit cards, you know? They don't have so much credit available sometimes or cash that they should just use that, you know, you will might get back. So that was the reason we went with True Panion. And... It became really handy because these two weeks alone, it cost around roughly $20,000 <laughs> and <laughs> the health insurance yeah. cover 90% of this $20,000. We only have to pay for around $2,000. Yeah, I think the final bill, if you account for what we paid for, was actually like $22,500 in total. Is for what two weeks of pneumonia treatment. Yeah. And this, uh, she was, like I said before, in an oxygen chamber. Venus, where are you going? Good. And this chamber costs $1,000 per day. That alone, not counting the x-rays, not counting um, the medicine she was getting, not counting the doctor's fee and the hospital fees and all the pretty fees they, they like to add up. There that was, was like so many things, yeah. <laughs> Just the oxygen alone, it was 960 something. So pretty much $1,000 just in oxygen alone. And she was oxygen dependent for a week and four days. So do the math. That was a lot of money just in oxygen. Yeah, that's where most of the money went, I think. Well, they also have to do a city scan on her. And the city scan, it was $3,500. Yeah. And we only had to pay, I believe it was $300 for the city scan. That's a really expensive uh, study. <laughs> Can they I guess, yeah. 
Yeah, we'll go with that. It's an expensive study. <laughs> it's an expensive thing. It was $3,500 and we only have to pay $300 and something. Yeah. I'm in love with True Panion. Every person I see in the street and I have a dog, I'm like, you need to get them health insurance. Because it actually saved Venus's life and it saved our bank account. <laughs> We are very grateful. It's something that maybe you don't think because it's not something a lot of people talk about it. A lot of our friends didn't know there was such thing as a pet insurance. It's not common. Actually, even at the vet's office, there were some people that were like, wait, what? Vet insur pet insurance? Yeah. I, I, well, okay, cool. <laughs> like there was one of the girls that worked in the front was like, I think I'm going to get this. This is awesome. Like, wow. It was really good. I like, I don't have experience with other pet insurance because this is the only one we know. So the way Trupanion works, you pay the, according to the age of your dog, the breed, and if they have a medical re record, right? No. You pay by the age of your dog and the size of your dog. That's it. That's how they get your premium. Um, the only thing is, and every pet insurance is like this. It doesn't matter. It's across the board. Nobody will cover a pre-existing condition. So let's just say you have an older dog and they have hip dysplasia. Well, you'll never be covered for hip dysplasia now. Um, or if they already had, uh, I don't know, knee surgery. They won't be covered on their knees anymore. But or... it's for 18 months prior, right? Well, that's how far back they might look is what I kind of read, but I, I'm not 100% on that. I just know that it said no pre-existing conditions. And I, I did read something about that. They will go back on your records like 18 months to see what you what you have or something. I don't, I'm not 100% on that. There's a, you know, there's fine print that I just didn't understand. But I do know that that's what you pay. And then you have like add-ons. So if your dog gets lost, they'll help you to put up like, I think a reward or something. That's something uh, really cool that I didn't know they do that. That's something that um, they don't promote it, I guess. Yeah, they have, uh, there was an add-on that I think I put that was for like different therapies. So some, like, for example, um, having big dogs, we kind of, we kind of know that in the future we may have hip dysplasia and we'll have to do therapy. So one of the therapies that they do for that is like hydrotherapy where they're like in water and it's like a treadmill underwater or something. Yeah. Uh, and it, it covers that. So there were certain things that I put and I, I kind of just like checked everything off and I said, give it to me, Let, let's <laughs> go for it. And I, I got the, not the lowest deductible or the highest one. I got the one that was in the middle because they gave me three. I think one was a hundred dollar deductible $500 deductible and a $1,000 deductible. Yeah, we pay uh, the we, 500 Yeah, we deductible. got the 500 one. So we got the one in the middle and that works for us. Um, I guess it's a bit pricey depending on your dog because ours is bigger, so we pay more. We pay $94 for Venus. She's four years and nine months. And we pay $85 for Apollo and he's three years old. Yeah. So more or less you have an idea how it's starting to go up according to the age. She's, she's two years older than him and we pay almost $10 difference. Yeah. Um, and it goes like they won't raise your premium. So let's say you got it when your dog was eight weeks old. Well, you'll be paying like probably really, really low amount and they won't raise your premium as the dog gets older. You, you're, you're locked in at that price. So whatever price you get them at, that's that's what you stick to. But the older they get, the more expensive it gets, just because I guess, you know, they, they want to make money too. And uh, <laughs> they're more prone to they're sickness more prone to as they get older. Sickness. Yeah. We used to have a, a pug last year. I don't know if you guys remember Ellie, she passed away from cancer. And we used to have insurance for her and she was almost $200 because she was a senior dog mm -hmm. and she was a pug, like I said, and our friendly pugs have a lot of issues and her breed was more expensive than them. When Ellie died, we forgot to take her out of the insurance right away, and we wrote them like three months after she had passed away, and they returned us the money, no problem, no questions asked, they returned us the three months that she had passed away. So this is a company that they really backed up their product, 
they are they care for their patients is they don't seem like money hungry they seem like they really truly care about the, the dogs. well-being of dogs and cats I, a, they, I know they do dogs and cats i don't know if they do birds but i know for sure they do dogs and cats and yeah when we when i called i called them because i kept forgetting i have a reminder because you can't do it in the app uh to like take a dog out you can't do it online or on the app you have to actually call them and i just kept forgetting because i'll remember like in the middle of the night and then like three four months later i was like okay put a reminder and i called them and i wasn't expecting to get money back i thought that was like on me like you know i'm an idiot and i just told them yeah i just want you know i needed to cancel it because uh the, you know my, my dog passed away and they didn't ask me for a death certificate or anything i and i expected that as well i thought they were gonna ask like you know, like show me proof kind of thing. And they, they didn't, they just said, oh, I'm, you know, I'm, they, he like was so, I'm so sorry to hear this. He was like really, really nice. And then he told me that he was gonna try to return me all the money that we paid on, on Ellie. And he goes to, you know, the, I think he returned back like one month prior to her dying is what he returned. So I, we got back like five months on her, which was amazing. I, I didn't even expect it. And they returned the money within like less than seven days. So that was awesome. So, so far we've had like an amazing experience Great with them, experience like with right them. from the start. This time when Venus got to the hospital, we didn't know how it works because this was the first time we were using it for medical purposes. And we were like, oh, we don't know if they will cover. And when the front desk girl called, as soon as she called, they approved her in less than 45 minutes from when we got there they already paid like um the 90 percent that they're supposed to pay because mm -hmm. this hospital the way they work they charge every day what they do that day they put like a maximum and a minimum i think it's yeah, very confusing well, yeah. so we went to an emergency hospital because it was 24 hours and the only one that we really know of is that one that's 24 hours yeah and they kind of like when you go in they'll do like the initial checkup and when they figure out or think they know what it is and how they're going to treat it they figure this is the minimum that is probably going to cost the owners to treat this what they have and then this is like the maximum and they'll give you two figures and to even begin treating them excuse me you need to pay the minimum up front yeah. and it's really just an estimate but they expect it to be that much or more so yeah, they called True Panion and True Panion just gave them the money within like 15 minutes. I think after they, they, they sent the initial thing, the girl said it takes usually like 15, 20 minutes and you'll get an answer whether it's approved or not. Cause I guess sometimes it doesn't get approved depending on what it is. Cause they'll, they'll gotta look over her records. I remember they asked, they yeah. were, that was one of the things he goes like, oh, it's taking a little longer than usual because they the asked, yeah, it was the first time and they need Venus's records. So they had to like call her back and they had to send her all the records that they had on her. And they, I guess they have people there that review them. And then they said, okay, Venus is good for that. So we paid our portion, which was the deductible. The deductible, the yeah, $500. We, we paid the 500 plus a little bit more. It wasn't much more. It was like, I think total we paid like 600 in that one. And then like, you know, we were there for longer. Like Venus, the first, few days she wasn't eating her fever was horrible and she was actually getting worse we were getting really worried and they saw that there wasn't you know improvement so they had to like up more antibiotics mm -hmm. and she was obviously there longer than they expected so they went to go and charge the insurance again and uh, with you know with all the new stuff that they were going to be doing and something came out for the girl i remember because we were in front of her and she was like this is yeah. weird there, it said, I'm not something sure Something about not said. charging us our 10% at that moment. It said something about deductible. Like, yeah. re, they take away from deductible and she was like, I don't understand what this even means. Let me call them. She called them up and talked to somebody and, and like explained the whole situation. And that person goes, listen, Venus is covered for anything. Don't worry about it, what it is. You don't need to send us an estimate. We'll pay whatever it is no questions asked venus is pre-approved for whatever you guys need to do just get it done she's an open ticket and i remember her saying that ex those exact words when open she said ticket. those words i got scared because i was like i still have to pay 10 percent you still so. have to pay 10 percent 
so after that things like totally changed for us in the in that hospital like venus kind of went like i guess vip status because they put even on her chart in the back because since she was in the oxygen chamber they couldn't let her out for us to see her this is normally if you have a dog there you know if they're they're getting treatment they they have like little rooms and they'll take the dog i to will you. put like little clips of how was the chamber we have clips of her when we she was eating and stuff like that so yeah. like that you see it was an oxygen chamber similar to the ones where they put babies when they're newborns they okay, have that little hole yeah yeah so we had to go back there and then we got to like see her chart because it was right there and on her chart they actually put like you know this dog has insurance and they put it like big bold and i guess that kind of like let them know that you know whatever we need to do for her we can do it like it's pre-approved and i think that kind of goes along the lines i don't know if you noticed it but there was one night that they i guess got a really bad patient going in i, I don't i don't even know what happened but dog went in they kind of like rushed it to the back and i think it was like the mother of the it was like the daughter's dog and then she came after and the the tech ran outside and he started like asking them like you know there's no heartbeat do we resuscitate you know that we do we keep giving it cpr you know but in, in that moment it's like they weren't doing anything they needed to get the approval and then to get the approval they needed to pay so that they can keep giving the dog cpr to try to resuscitate the dog which was like that's so much time wasted and because we had the insurance, I remember there was a sticker. She had a note. Yeah, she had a note to resuscitate and she had a note. They never had to do it, but just in case just something in case. happened, she did have a note that to resuscitate her. And they also had, uh, whenever she needed like an x-ray because she had pneumonia, they had to do x-rays of her lungs because they were very congested. She, they didn't have to call us because before they were calling us for each x-ray like yeah, we had to go and pay or, you know, pay us online and sign yeah. the consent form and send it to us. Now it was like... I didn't even know how many they did. Yeah, we didn't even... They weren't even asking us for permission. They were just like x-rays, x-rays, x-rays. Which go both ways. I wish, like, they keep asking us for permission because she's still my dog. But we were very grateful that the insurance give them this money so easily that they weren't concerned about the money and they were more concerned about her health yeah like they were always taking care of her putting her oxygen putting her nebulizer giving her antibiotics because they weren't losing time with money asking us for money every five seconds because in the beginning i felt like every time they were gonna give her something new they will call us Oh, is this gonna be this much? Do you approve it? And I will have to sign a consent. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have to go in person. Other times they allow me to do it on the in online. I will have to print, scan, send them back. So when the insurance say that she was pre-approved, they were all hands on her. And most of the doctors were really good with it. So I'm really, really grateful we have the insurance. If we will not have the insurance, I don't know if we will have been able to keep her for as long as she was and if she will have gotten better because the first three days she was really bad the third and the fourth been the worst where the doctors were saying that they didn't know if she was gonna make it because her breathing was going lower and lower and lower mm -hmm. and that's when the insurance say that she was pre-approved and thank goodness they bring a new antibiotic that it was super expensive and that was the antibiotic they work on her and after that like she starts we start seeing improvement on her and she started responding and her fever went down and she never got fever again they could they were able to take her out of the oxygen so it is a little in the both ways because maybe they do do a lot of things because you have insurance but it was great that we had the insurance yeah. And they weren't calling us for every single thing and they weren't making her wait to see if it was approved or not. Yeah, at the end of the day, what we were worried about was her just coming home healthy, you know, like coming home period. Because, you know, there was a few days that were kind of scary. And I think that when they saw that we had insurance, there was like the top surgeons in that place were like, 
oh, we're going to overlook this too now. <laughs> so, like, we really were kind of, like, I guess treated like VIP in there because we, we had, I don't even know how many, do- I mean, they always have a lot of doctors because they have different shifts, right? Now, nobody's going to be working there 24 hours a day because that's impossible. But we had, like, other doctors that were overseeing what some doctors were doing. Like, yeah, we had a lot of doctors overseeing her stuff, which was amazing. So, I, there was a lot of people on there. Um, something else, though, like, I think... If we didn't have insurance, you know, they don't, I don't, I, I think, you know, they realize that $20,000 is a crazy, 22, yeah, $22,000 <laughs> is a crazy bill. And I don't, you know, know many people that can pay this. So I think that what probably would have happened if we didn't have insurance would have been like, you know, we pay up to what we can. And then as soon as they see that there is somewhat some improvement, they would have like immediately sent her home and just said like monitor you know what you can and if something happens like bring her right away so i think that having the insurance was great because we had you know people that are skilled and trained in this field and know exactly what they're doing yeah so that was really really amazing and we're super grateful about that well to put a little bit on perspective last year we didn't have insurance and she got sick with an immune system disorder and we have to use all of our life savings to buy a house on her because if we have to spend sixteen thousand dollars on biopsies x-rays she got sonograms because at the beginning they didn't know what it was they thought it was cancer they thought it was leukemia and a specialist have to see her and he was the one who did a biopsy of the bone marrow and that's how they find out it wasn't leukemia, it was a uh, immune system disorder. And it was cured with just some pills with cortisone. Prednisone. Prednisone. Yeah. Uh, but to them to find out what it was, it cost us $60,000. 16. 16. $16,000. <laughs> $16,000. And, and that was that going was to different vets too. like Because that wasn't just that one place. We went to... Our, our primary, primary but, doctor first yeah because they didn't know what she had nothing was coming up on her blood test so we went to our primary we gave her antibiotics they sent us home nothing was working we were there then we went back went home went back went home <laughs> we took her then to the the other place because she started doing really bad yes then we went home then we took her back again like it was a back and forth and in total it was like that's crazy how much we ended up spending we have to spend all our savings on just that visit that she was sick for like almost two weeks yeah well when they thought it was leukemia they they told us that there's this uh treatment that they could do and it would have been a bone marrow transplant surgery or... and that was thirty thousand dollars yeah they told us it was thirty thousand dollars and we will have to have moved to north carolina to be able to do it yeah so there's, no... there's only like a handful of doctors around the world that do this and there's one in north carolina and luckily that was the doctor that told us about trupanion the first time because mm-hmm. he told us that he had cases that trupanion have covered the bone marrow transplant the thirty thousand dollars and that's when we start looking into it and thank goodness we got it because we didn't expect for chicken pneumonia now yeah this was like i mean <laughs> i'm not saying i'm thankful that she got sick but you know because I, I i wish that we could have just paid for it and never had to use it you know one of those things that you know have it and not need it but you know it's better it's better that way than to like need it and not have it i think that's (laughs) how you say it right i I got it right (laughs) (laughs) in a one year that we have it we are pay a thousand two hundred dollars on health insurance for her and we got back twenty thousand so it's totally worth it if your dog gets sick just one time (laughs) it paid itself off for 20 years (laughs) pretty (laughs) much Pretty much, if your dog gets sick one or two times on his lifetime, it will pay itself off. At least in Florida, where everything is very expensive. Yeah, so that that twenty-two thousand dollars, you might get shocked and think like, "Oh my God, I, nobody can afford this." But you know, like I, I think it also depends on where you're from. Uh, different places, yeah. you know, they're they're probably gonna have different prices. Even even within Miami, where we live, there's there's gonna if there was more competition. For the 24-hour clinics, those prices would probably go down, but there's really not. 
That's like one of the only There's places. another one in Orlando, but it's four hours away, so. Yeah, I think we have another 24 hour clinic here. But it but, doesn't have the big machines like yeah, the city scan. They, this place has like all the crazy machines that cost like millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And they have like their internal blood work. They don't have to send it out. They get it like in 10, 15 minutes. And there's, they have like specialists for everything. Yeah. Every kind of specialist they you can think of. Ortho, they have ortho, they have a cardiologist, they have for cancer. Yeah, so they, they have everything. And I mean, since we were visiting Venus a lot, we, we would visit her in the mornings and at night. At night, you see like so many dogs going in saying, oh, we were at our primary vet and they said that she needed, you know, the dog needed to be uh, monitored hours. for 24 hours. So we're here, you know, yeah. so there, there's not like a lot of competition in that. So that's, that's why it's so expensive. That's why that well. place is like super, super, super expensive. So I think if you're from somewhere else, maybe the prices could be a little lower, um, but obviously that's just depending on where you're from. So in the end, I will recommend you to check a few of the insurance because there's other options. We can only talk about True Panion because it's the one that we know, the one that we use, and the one we are so, so grateful that we have. But look for the option, which one it goes better with your budget. Because there's different options. We got the most expensive one and it's $94 for her, but we have all the coverage. So there's options that could work with your budget. Mm -hmm. But it's, like he said earlier, it's better to have it and never need it. But if you need it, you will be so thankful because vet medicine is very, very expensive. And sometimes when you get a dog, you don't think of these things and you think, my dog is going to be healthy. He's never getting sick. But when they get sick, it's a really big hole in your wallet. Yeah, actually, like being able to see Venus like in the back, we, were, we got like a behind the scenes kind of look at some of the things that go on. And we noticed that a lot of the dogs that are in there are actually not old dogs. The no. majority of them were really young dogs. We saw a puppy that he had cancer and he was getting chemo and he was, he was only a, a year and a half old. Yeah, yeah, it was a golden retriever, really young, really cute, super active. He yeah. didn't even look sick. He was sick. adorable. <laughs> and there was a lot of dogs. Like actually, I think the majority, because when you, at least this place, when you go in, you have to like sign in, you put the name of your dog your last name and the reason why you're you're going and if you kind of like we we kind of like sometimes we read and the majority of dogs that go in is because they ate something they weren't supposed to yeah they ate one ate a toad another one he ate a uh, rat poison mm -hmm. another one ate um though i don't know if in your state they do it but in the in florida they put these packs they look like ketchup and they have inside vaccines of rabies for raccoons and wild animals like squirrels. Oh yeah. And one of a cat eat yeah, one a cat of those. Yeah, cat ate one of those. We, we I saw a few of them that had eaten chocolate. Yeah. There was yeah. There's a lot of. There's dogs a that lot eat of things. things that you don't think. Oh my dog is gonna get sick and it's gonna be over a thousand dollars because pretty much an emergency room after 9 p.m. is gonna be a thousand dollars minimum. Yeah, that's minimum. I will. We were talking with somebody there and uh, it's, uh, there, it was like the, the lady that cleans at night there and she's she's there every single night cleaning and she says that there's like pretty much the minimum that anybody spends there is usually about three thousand dollars is what she sees because any kind of surgery it's expensive yeah. like anytime you eat something they have to open up completely take it out of the intestines and that was that's a lot of money it's a ton of money so consider if it's what is in your budget, what is what you could afford, yeah. but having it in consideration, I really highly recommend, like I say, if you meet me and you have a dog, I'm going to tell you to get your panion. Yeah, we're this totally recommending This is not a sponsor, but yeah, they I love them. They, they didn't pay us to make this or they don't help me with, I mean, I guess they don't I, even know who I we guess are. I sponsor it, right? Because <laughs> I pay it myself. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know who we are. They don't know we're doing this video. Yeah, they don't know but us. But we are so in love and grateful with them because Venus is our baby. And we were very scared we were going to lose her. And on top of that, you're scared, you're sad, and you also have to think about money. So. Yeah, it's kind of like one of those things that's really tough because like, you're like, there's so many people that we saw there and even us included, like, especially last year when we were like, 
so sad that they came out and told us we think it's leukemia and we were like crying just bawling out and we saw a lot of people doing the same and then you see somebody walk in well we can try to treat it and this is how much you're gonna have to pay us and it's like don't talk to me about money at this time <laughs> i'm you know i'm just thinking about the well-being of my my pet you know but well, they she's won't... not my pet she's my daughter she's yeah, my but... baby <laughs> But, you know, like, at least this place is one of those places that they will not touch the animal unless they get paid up front. I know that there's some places that do, and I've I heard stories actually from our primary vet that they kind of like do that. And they said that sometimes it sucks because... The people leave without pain. Yeah, the, like, after they do the surgeries, you know, if it's something that they can do there, that it's not one of those things that needs 24-hour care. The people see the dog and they're like, okay, okay, thank you. And they just totally walk out on a $9,000 bill is what the guy told me <laughs> once. He was like, yeah, they just $9,000. They just walked right out after the dog was healed yeah. and they never paid us and they didn't have the information. So that was that. So there's some places that you don't pay up front, but this place is one of those that you definitely do. And you'll be you'll be grateful that you have it if you if you if you have it. So that was it for this video. I will be putting in the description down below all the information about the insurance, how you could get it. Like I say, I will be putting Trupanion, but you could check other insurance that they offer in your area. Trupanion, you could use it in the US, Canada, and Puerto Rico. So. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get Trupanion. It's the best one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,